Hey guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica and today I'm here with a new pair of smart running shoes. So these are the Ultra Torin IQ running shoes and they are $220 and they kind of combine the biggest features of Under Armour's Gemini 2 running shoes and Lumo Run, that little wearable tracker that we reviewed a little while back. So with those two devices that it kind of combines, you get you know distance and pace and cadence data for while you're running, either indoors or outdoors, but you also get a voice coach that you can listen to with your headphones in, and it'll kind of coach you to be a better, more efficient runner using the sensors that the shoes have inside their insoles, their full length sensors, and they track things like landing zone, impact rate, ground contact time, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So you'll kind of be able to learn more about your feet and learn more about how your feet work while you're running. So I've been using them for a little while while I run almost every day. And I'm gonna tell you some of the good things and the bad things about Ultra's Torin IQ running shoes. So the first good thing about the Torin IQ running shoes are their design. I think that they're a really comfortable running shoe. I've never actually run with any Ultra shoes, but this being my first time, I really enjoyed it. These have a 22 millimeter stack and a zero drop design, so they're really comfortable. And they also have a bound cushioning, which is Ultra's kind of proprietary version of EVA cushioning. So it's supposed to bounce back a little bit better than traditional EVA. And in general, I just found that it was a really comfortable running shoe. Like I said, I haven't used any Ultra running shoes before, but these were really nice to run in. I didn't really have any break in time that I usually have with shoes, which was very interesting. And one of the weird things about it that I was kind of apprehensive about in the beginning was this foot shaped toe box, which kind of, looks more like the uh, curvature of your foot on either on either side kind of mimics your foot shape rather than some of the other running shoes that I have that are a little bit more straight um, and narrow in the front and I was a little bit apprehensive about it I wasn't sure if that was going to be as comfortable as the other running shoes that I was used to but I was surprised when I was running it definitely felt like a very smooth ride and I never had any kind of problems with it never felt like I kind of twisted my ankle or did anything like that and I have injured myself when I ran before um, and I do believe that some of that has to be the shoes that I was using in the past so overall I was really happy with the design and comfort of the Torin IQ running shoes. Another good thing about these shoes is the customizable voice, voice coach intervals you can set while you're running. So using the app, you can kind of change things about the voice coach and what the voice coach is going to coach you on while you're running. But the one specific attribute that I really enjoyed was the interval that you could customize how often the voice coach would chime in. So for example, with the Luma Run wearable tracker that I had used a while ago, every single time you made some sort of wrong move or did something out of line, you would hear this kind of like sad trombone type of noise and that would end up uh, lowering my music that I was listening to a lot, um, which is both good and bad, but it ended up being really annoying to me at the end of the day. With the Ultra IQ running shoes, you can customize how often the voice coach is going to chime in, either every one minute, every two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. You can customize all the way up to, I believe, around 10 minutes. So if you really don't want to be bothered with the voice coach, you don't have to be, but you'll still get you know, a little bit of advice here and there, depending on how often you want it. Another good thing about Ultra's system is that you can see real time changing stats in the app while you're running. So when you open up the app and you're looking at it while you run, you're gonna see four kind of squares that show you landing zone, uh, ground contact time, cadence, and impact rate. And while you run, you can actually keep this page open. There's a little setting in the app so your smartphone won't fall asleep and turn off the display while you're running, then you can turn that on, for example. When I'm running, I could see the landing zone in which my foot was striking the ground. So you're supposed to have it kind of in the middle. You don't want to be landing on the ground with your toe first or your heel first. But I could see if maybe one step I went back on my heel first or one step I kind of went on my toe first. And you can see that as you're running. So you can kind of self-correct just by looking at the app. So now onto the not so good things about the Torin IQ running shoes. Most of them have to do with the voice coach. So the voice coach, I was expecting it to be a little bit more comprehensive. And what I really didn't like about it was that the responses I kind of heard over and over again, but I didn't necessarily know what I was doing wrong. It kind of just seemed like the voice coach was giving me general running tips. You can check off kind of a goal of what you'd want to focus on when you're running, whether it be um, how your knee is bending when you're landing or just your overall form. For example, one of them was very kind of abstract and it said, you know, the, a good foot strike is the result of doing everything else correctly. And I thought to myself when I was running, well, what is everything else? What else should I be doing properly to get 
a good foot strike. As somebody who might not know those things or they got these shoes because they want to run more efficiently, they might not know what those other factors are to produce a good foot strike. So overall, I just thought the voice coach wasn't really living up to its potential. It wasn't as specific as I would like, and it wouldn't really tell me what I was doing wrong or what I was doing right at any given time. Another not so great thing about Ultra System is that the app doesn't really put your running stats into any context. So you can see all of your running history as in the specific stats and data from every single time you recorded a run, and you can see different foot models of you know your landing zones and the impact rate and all that kind of stuff and it's a great layout of your data however you're just kind of given a list of all your recorded runs and you kind of have to tap in between them to see different ground contact times and landing zones and cadences and there's not a really easy way for you to kind of compare stats over time and that was really disappointing because when you want to improve your running especially with you know your form so you don't injure yourself or efficiency just so you can run better or run that marathon that you've wanted to you want to be able to see how well you've gotten over time but the app doesn't make it very easy for you to compare those stats over a long period of time and the last not so great thing about the Torin IQ smart shoes is the price so personally i don't think that 220 dollars is the right price for this type of shoe if the voice coach was more comprehensive and if the app did a little bit more to allow you to create goals and assess progress over time, then I might be able to say that you could spend $220 and be perfectly fine with it. But when there's something like the Lumo Run out on the market, which is only $100 in comparison, that's definitely the better choice. Because even though it's a little sensor that you kind of clip to the back of your pants, it offers you a way better voice coach and one that even though it might be a little bit annoying when it kind of corrects you immediately, at least it's correcting you immediately and you know what the problem is immediately and you can correct that um, in the moment while you're running. I appreciate that a lot about the Luma Run, even though it was a little bit annoying at times, but if you're trying to get better at running, you want to know immediately what you're doing wrong or what you're doing right so you can continue to do it or change it up so you can improve. Making it more convenient to get that voice coach and that kind of data by embedding them into the shoes it is very convenient. If you're looking for a new pair of running shoes and you kind of like the idea of coaching, these would be a really convenient thing to get, but they just don't offer as much analysis and as much help as I thought that they would. Ultra sells regular Torin running shoes and they, they started off at $125 and now I believe they're on sale for just under $90 for both men's and women's models. If you like the design of the Ultra Torin running shoes, you could get those shoes and then spend $99 on the Luma run and you would have a much better system to learn how to run better in shoes that you like personally for the design. Overall, I think $220 is a little bit too much to ask for the Torrent IQ running shoes, which don't really offer the best coaching or the best app to support it. <laughs>